game changer just broke. I am super pissed, but it is what it is. Look at that. That's where we just filmed old school retool, y'all. Look at that. You just were another part of the YouTube creator's studio. I'm just kidding. And over to this bench. Someone, I got an email the other day. Someone was like, well, hey, CC Scraps, you know, um, you know anything about punches? And I'm like, well, I mean, not really, but I have some, and I just thought I might want to share them with this person. Um, they don't want to be mentioned or whatever, so I won't, but they're a, a fan of the channel, and they just wanted to know. So, I, I'm not too familiar. I, I got, I'll just explain kind of where I got everything from. So, this one was a garage sale. I got it with this one. I think this one... And this little thing over here, this little planer, I just thought it was a cute little thing. It's cobalt. I got it at like a garage sale. It's just this little wood planer. But I keep it in this SK toolbox and this SK toolbox. Um, Tom Gun Tools, I know you like SK stuff. I have a bunch of SK stuff. Actually, uh, I don't know if you watch my videos, but I'll get it together and do a quick video on it. You can watch it or whatever. And if... Uh, Maybe you want to make a trade or something, because, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like that old uh, drill you got in that haul a couple weeks back at that. I think you got everything for like $20 or something. It was some kind of insane thing. Anyway, that's another video, another story, but shout out to you, dude, and, and your channel is pretty badass. Tom Gun Tools. Um, so, some of these are my grandfather's. Uh, some of these are just like metal rods. I kind of got into holding on to these metal rods from a guy named Ian Matthews. It's another good channel to watch. Um, and this is how I get some of these punches, like this old crappy drill bit. I'm probably going to chop it off and just cut this up and make like a rod or keep it long. I don't know. And then I got these little pieces of weird like metal. This I bought at the flea market for like a dollar. This was actually part of this piece right here. And I cut it off because I can't remember what I need. I needed this particular size, and I, I don't know. I needed it for something, so I cut it. But I saved it, and I can always do something with that. I was thinking of maybe cutting it, you know, from here to maybe here. And uh, let's turn this light on and see what's good. Oh, look at that. That's a lot better. Sorry, y'all. I'm here. Let's do another buzz by. So there, okay. So, uh, where were we? Um, this, some of these I find, like, when I'm out scrapping metal or I'm out picking garbage or whatever on a trash night, I'll come across people who throw stuff away. And, you know, and that's how I came across, actually, that drill we're working on on the Old School Retool latest video. This guy had it in his trunk and he's going to toss it. And I was like, whoa, bro, hey, hang on a minute, man. What are you... I was going to actually offer money for it. He's like, just take it. It was my grandfather's. I don't have time for it. And I'm like... Well, guess what? I got all the time in the world for it, as long as I'm on this freaking earth. Then, you know, more rods. And this looked like it was part of this, you know, um, you know, like a socket. I can't remember what these things are called. I know it's a ball bearing, but there's a funky name for it. Um, these are just, like, pins and stuff I've collected. Like this, I've seen you guys, uh, when I get my little 1 by 30 I see dudes sanding the, the, um, the, the, Jesus, the threads off them. And then using this as like a punch. And it's a pretty standard size, I think. Um, this one, this one, uh, this one, and this one, this one, this one. This, 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 this. Were my granddaddies. And that. Bought that at the market. Um, this I got at Harbor Freight. This one of these. And it punches a... A whole, or a, a mark or whatever on metal, you know, ping, and then you can drill on it or whatever, or punch on anything, really. Um, oh, and this is my grandfather's, too. This is a Babbitt scraper, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you'll see them old-school dudes like Keith Rucker, and then dudes like, uh, they'll be pouring their own Babbitt. Hand Tool Rescue does that, too. Another good channel, you guys. Oh, and uh, I don't know if y'all caught it, but 
Um, woo, that's bright. Hold on a minute. Shut it off. All right. Um, is it Jimmy Duresta has got a Netflix show out called Making Fun. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It just came out a little while ago, maybe a few days ago, actually. Um, he, uh, I guess he doesn't like kids, and he um, does, like, this series where he, like, these kids call in, and they tell them what they want them to build. And then they build it, and they built this dinosaur. The first one I seen, they built this dinosaur that threw tacos while you sat on a toilet to take a dump, which is funny because I guess that's what kids think about is <laughs> dinosaurs and dumping. That's great. But uh, anyway, that was just this quick little view on my punches and stuff, and um, I don't know, just answering a viewer's question, I guess. Viewer questions, maybe we'll make a playlist called Viewer Questions. But, I mean, I don't know much about them. I, like, I know there's certain names for all these. Like, some are center punches. Some are... I'm dumb to the punches and chisels. But I did know this, this was a Babbitt scraper. That's pretty good, right? That should be some kind of attaboy. Or, if you don't like it, as what's his name? Jimmy Dressa says, you can shit talk me in the comments. <laughs> anyway, that's a good show. He's... That's a pretty talented dude out there. Like, there's a lot of freaking, like, there's just, whoops. Oh, there's just so much out there that's these guys and girls that are so creative. It's just, it blows my mind. It really does. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this quick little uh, show and tell, I guess, or viewer questions, whatever we want to call it. We'll decide in a little bit. Anyway. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you all next week. CC Scrapshaw, thanks for watching. Peace.